Yeah, sheesh. The last couple of days have been rough on my channel, I know. A lot of hard videos. A lot of emotionally draining ones as well. Two of them I can count for. And let that be the end of them. Let that be the fucking end of them. Let's just talk about something entertaining and... Let's try to be positive, okay? I'm not a positive guy. I'm a realist. And realist is most of, mo most of the time means you're, you're, ne you're negative. So call me whatever you like. I'm not positive most of the times. But this time, positive is the best way to fucking go, okay? But today, I am talking uh, <laughs> about my favorite TV show of all time. Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay, so I made a review of Peaky Blinders, okay? Um, and I stand by my words. Uh, Peaky Blinders is the greatest TV show ever made. Uh, and I still stand by the, those words, as I said. I, th I think them. And I told you that Breaking Bad is my favorite. But it had little bit, very small times, some, some very tiny little teeny hiccups, but hiccups nonetheless, and Peaky Blinders does, just doesn't have them, okay, that's why it said it's, it's the best show of all time, because if, if it wasn't this, it would be Breaking Bad, anyway, Breaking Bad is my favorite TV show of all time, here's why, here is why, Breaking Bad introduced me to a spectrum of amazing TV shows, I hearing I've been hearing about it for forever. It's not famous in Bulgaria, but I've been, uh, but I've been online with some with not Bulgarian stuff. Okay, that's why I can speak English. But um, yeah, I I stayed active. If I saw a lot of TV shows, their trailers and their things, and of course Breaking Bad popped up every time I saw, and I and I said hmm. Should I give it a try? People say it's amazing. Should I give it a try? Not sure. And then I decided not to give a try to Breaking Bad. I decided to give a try to Game of Thrones. Look, <clears throat> I watched two seasons of Game of Thrones. And I, I couldn't stomach it. It was horrible. I didn't like any second of it. The only interesting part, remotely, was uh, the Sean Bean part with the with the little wolves that he had to kill, and all of the family drama. That was the only entertaining part of Game of Thrones that I watched, and I just couldn't stomach through. Okay, and I I didn't like Game of Thrones, and I, and as I said, Game of Thrones was raved and raved and raved to be the greatest TV show ever, and then I said, if Game of Thrones. It disappointed me. Then Breaking Bad would just do the same thing. Great TV show was yeah, my fucking white ass. And then one night I didn't, I, I couldn't do anything. I was just sitting at home watching TV. Said, so, "Fuck it, try Breaking Bad at least one episode, see how it goes." Oh my god, this this was the biggest wake up call in my life. Breaking Bad was amazing. Every second it was getting even better. Every episode, and I said me how was i missing out on this how was i missing out on this shit it was so good it was so new it was so surprising i've never experienced this level of quality before and i said to myself fuck me i'm gonna binge watch it all and i did i binge watched it three fucking times and i enjoyed the three times it never got boring because it isn't a boring show it's great i just loved every second of it the characters hank walter jesse Badger, <laughs> I mean, the lists are endless. The the characters of of this show are fucking phenomenal. Fuck me, this was just an incredible experience. The pacing is so well done, and it is in small bunch of episodes. It's like ten a season, twelve a season sometimes. And the last season was split into two parts, which which was fifteen episodes. Fuck me. Oh my god, but. You know, I enjoyed every every one of them. My favorite season is ah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite season is um season four. And I I forgot to mention 
the greatest villain in any in any TV show, movie, etc. Gustavo Frame. The best villain I've ever seen by far in anything. Not by far, but he's still number one. He was just incredible. But anyway, my favorite season is season four, and especially the ending. When uh, Hector was waiting for Gus, uh, you know, with the with the remote bomb uh, under, under underneath his wheelchair that Walt planted. <laughs> and he was like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you remember this? That was fucking amazing. Uh, the ending. This is... Okay. The ending of the show is, for lack of a better word, perfect. Perfect. This was this is the best ending of a TV show. Yeah, I, I think you're gonna agree with me, because I don't I just don't see any flaws in it. It was so perfectly done, and it was in the realm of reality. It wasn't something you would say, "Oh, this would only happen in a dream sequence." No, this was pretty believable, pretty doable, <clears throat> and so satisfying. So satisfying at the end. It was beautiful. That's how I describe it. Beautiful ending to a beautiful TV show. And yeah, just beautiful all around. So I'm going to give Breaking Bad a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Although I think, I think uh, that it had some little, little bit hiccups with, especially one episode called Fly, which was still very well made, but it was just really about nothing. It was just, just a quick recap of the different seasons and episodes. Which was alright, but it was a bit one of the weaker episodes compared to the fucking amazing ones like Ozymandias. Oh my god. Ozymandias face off. So so absolutely amazing episodes. And compared to them, this one crumbles and it fucking shows. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Finally, finally talking about something that is not death, misery, suicide, or harassing women. I'm looking at you, Blizzard. And yeah. Finally, I got to review the show and made it public for the eye to see. Hope you enjoyed, as I said, and yeah, I will see you very soon, and by soon I mean tomorrow. I'm gonna do an, uh, look, between the, I'm gonna do it now, between uh, August 3rd to 5th or 6th, I'm not sure, but this, <clears throat> this time I'm not gonna post any videos. I'm seeing it now. So any so I don't want to be <laughs> I don't I don't want <laughs> I don't want there to be any rumors that I'm dead or I did, or I killed myself. Uh, just a little update I can I'm sharing it with you now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Third, fourth, fifth, or sixth of August this is gonna be the time. Won't be uploading videos. And yeah, you got like nearly forty videos to binge watch on my channel. So go right ahead. Subscribe, like if you want. And of course, if you can't can stand me, dislike the video and write something very toxic. Like you do. And we'll end with that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Love you all. Goodbye.